Hi everyone, today I will be talking about how I create this link preview in Obsidian and Obsidian Publish. You can see that, um, yeah, this work in Obsidian Publish. Um, the plugins that I will be using is the Obsidian Run that I create and another powerful plugin, uh, Obsidian Custom JS, and also a little bit uh, custom code. Um, so let's dive in. The first thing that I will do is to install the plugins. First is the custom JS. I install it and then set the folder setting to be JS slash scripts. Then in the wrong plugin, I set it to uh, set the ignore folder setting to be template. Why I do this is because I don't want the uh, I, I set a run block uh, to in, in the template and I don't want this run block to be executed and that's why I set the folder to be um, to be, the ignore folder to be template and then the next thing that I will do is I insert this template here uh, the preview template and when I click save you can Notice that uh, there's an error because this cust uh, this length preview is undefined. Uh, if I go to um, the developer two, I can see that uh, now custom JS in uh, inject a global variable here, and there should be a link preview if I set it properly. Um, the reason why a uh, link preview is undefined is because there is there isn't a uh, JS slash script folder here. So let us create one. I create a JS slash scripts here. And then I will create a link preview.js. Um I because uh, of the time I already create here. So you can see that uh, I will simply copy it here. I will simply copy it right now, like this. So the code here is actually copied from the nifty links uh, from here. So basically how it works is that uh, it will take in the, it will, it will text a text and then, and then check if the text is a URL or not. And if it is, a URL, it will go through the following code and then finally generate uh, div elements. Uh, the custom JS detent is undefined uh, now, so I have to uh, define uh, define it as well. I create. I already published the code as Git. So uh, where this code is come? Where this code come from? It is from the TSD dance. Uh, this from the TSD dance package, and when I go into this, and I go into index.js, basically it is this the dance function is what I want. So basically, I copy this uh, code and then I paste it here. I paste it here, and now uh, this uh, custom uh, oh. It should be a class because uh, based on the uh, how custom JS work, this should be a class, and then this uh, is a main function of this detent class. So now this custom JS dot detent dot detent will work, and let's see if it works or not. Yep, you can see that now it. Uh, it works and say that it is not a uh, JS, it is not a URL. Let's go check the um, developer to custom JS. Yes, you can see that the dance is here right now. And what I'm doing now, uh, I just need to uh, to check if it work. I just copy this link and then I put it here. I click save. You can see that it generate this uh, this uh, HTML code right here and now the final step is to add the style the style 
for the sound, I go to um, uh, this uh, Nifty Link styles.css and then I go to settings, I go to appearance, or oh, basically I add the CSS snippet, snippet here so I can add it in in my ID as well. I will create a link card.css. I paste all the code here and then I refresh it. Now it I, I enable it, right? Enable it. Now you can see that there is a beautiful link card. Um if I want a uh like two more link cards, I just need to uh install uh insert the plug insert the template and then I go to like Obsidian Custom JS. I paste it here. I go to Nifty Links. I paste it here, and then I click Save. Then you can see that there is free link card, which is super simple, because like all all these now all the codes are reusable. And even if you remove this HTML code and then you click save again, it will it will generate uh, the code back. And this is just how uh, Obsidian run work. It can generate markdown. Uh, basically, it can generate anything uh, using J using JavaScript. So now. Uh, because it is markdown and HTML, and that's why it will work in in Obsidian Publish as well. So I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye.